is Katie from Little Warriors, um, and today I'm going to talk about a fun little 100 day experiment um, that we did. I know some of you have already had your 100th day. Um, some of you, your 100th day is coming up real soon, and some of you have a while to go yet. So this is just a fun little idea um, that you can do it with your kiddos on the 100th day. It doesn't take much at all. Um, all you need is a container of some kind. We used um, chocolate chips. We had pretzel twists and some mini marshmallows. Okay, so all we did was first we had this little 100th day science book. Um, and the first thing I did was at the beginning of the year, we introduced science tools. Um, so the kids just use their science tools all the time. Um, and at first I gave them just like one mini marshmallow um, and they use their science tools to observe it. So they just would pick it up with their tweezers and take a closer look and use their five senses to um, to tell me what they noticed about each object. We said how it felt, what it looked like, what it sounded like when we dropped it, and how it smelled. Um, so after we observed each object, then we came up with a question. So you just kind of guide your kids. Um, after you talk about the vocabulary, we talk about... Um, what volume is and how it just means how much space a 3D object can take up. So we talk about what volume is and after that I just guide them into making our own question. So our question was which one of these things would take up the mo most space in our container? So that was just our simple question. After that um, they had to make a prediction so we did our hypothesis which object do you think will take up the most space? And they just have to color what their prediction is. Um, then we actually did the experiment. We went ahead and I had just made it real fast and easy. I had 10 kids line up and then the 10 kids, each one would drop in like 10 chocolate chips. So then we did that 10 times. So we're, we're reinforcing groups of 10. Um, and then afterwards, after each object, we would color to show how much space that object took up. And then the last thing we did was our conclusion. So at the end it just says um, they have to fill in which one had the greatest volume. And then it says think about it. If they all had 100 pieces, then they should be equal. Why did they have different volumes? Um, so then we just talked about why did these things um, take up different amounts of space if they were all 100 pieces? And since they had already observed closely um, the different objects, they were able to come up with the conclusion that they took up different amounts of space because they were different sizes. Okay, um, so it was just a fun way to reinforce um, counting to 100, doing groups of 10, to reinforce our science tools and our science vocabulary. And it was a good way to um, just kind of bring your science, math, and literacy all together for your 100th day of school. So if you like this experiment, you can check it out in my Teachers Pay Teachers store, and don't forget to share it on Facebook. Um, thanks for watching!